You're going to need a few things to get started on this pennant project. I've picked out three different decoupage papers. Uh, you wouldn't have to do that many, or you could do more. I thought three would be nice to alternate. And uh, you're going to want the Decapatch brand decoupage varnish, a nice brush to apply it with. I'm using wax linen for the top of my pennant. Uh, when we start uh, varnishing our pennant, we're going to need just a piece of cardboard with a plastic bag over it. That's what we're going to do our work on. And when we cut our pennants, you're going to want an X-Acto knife and something to cut it on, either cardboard or a self-healing mat. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do uh, is make your little template for your pennant. You're going to need a piece of cardstock and some scissors for that. So let's get started. All right, so I've got a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock, and I think I'm going to make my point this way. But a way to get your pennant nice and even is we're going to start by folding about a half inch down from the side. This is going to be the back edge of our pennant that folds over the thread, and then you're going to fold it in half lengthwise. And for the next part, you can use a ruler. This is, so think of this as your pennant folded in half. You can use a ruler to make a line, or you can just freehand it. Having it folded is going to even it up. So when you unfold it, You'll have a nice pennant shape that's even in a bifold direction, and you'll already have your flap at the right angle. So that is how to create your template. All right, I'm out in the shop. I've got my cutting mat ready. I've already been cutting a few of my little pennant shapes. My template is cut out of cardstock and my X-Acto knife together. It's really important that you use a fresh blade for this because the decoupage paper is really thin and if your blade's dull at all it's going to pull instead of cut. And you're just going to try to hold your template down and cut along the edge. Be very conscious of where your fingers are and we're just going to cut out the pennant shape. I cut into my template a little bit, but that's okay. They don't have to be exactly perfect. So that's my basic pennant shape. And what we're going to be doing is folding up at the top. Like that and our little thread's going to fit through this part. So go ahead and cut out the rest of all your little pennant shapes. You can get about four out of a sheet for this size. If you want to make them a little smaller, you could probably get a few more. Um, but go ahead and do all of them. So I have cut out all my little pennant pieces and I've gone ahead and folded them over in the back just to make it easier. So it is time to start making the actual pennant and we're going to start from one end of our wax linen. You want to come in about a foot just so you've got an end, enough of an end to do something with to, to hang it up. And I found I'm just using a piece of cardboard inside a big zippy bag. This is going to be something that it won't um, adhere to too quickly because it's plastic. And I found I, I could work on about two pennants at a time 
and basically we're going to feed our linen up and under the little flap and then I've got my decapatch varnish and a brush and you're going to start with just a little bit of the varnish underneath the lip just to stick it down and then we're going to paint a thin layer over the whole piece and this first coat we're going to we're going to be applying several coats to make our pennant sturdy and this first coat is the trickiest cuz the paper is going to be the most delicate and i i the first time i tried it i thought i'd be able to leave it and peel it but it's stuck so after you've done it you're going to gently peel it up and you can go ahead and apply a coat on the other side too and gently peel it up like I said this first layer is when it's the most delicate so be very very gentle and you could go ahead and do a second one if you want to start out with you may want to only do one at a time and now that I've got this painted on you're going to let this dry but hang it up I've just been taping it to a windowsill with just some scotch tape and it's a thin layer so it's only going to take about um, 10 or 15 minutes to dry and then you can do another layer on the other end of my string I've already started a few and these are feeling a lot more sturdy they've got about three layers on now and I might do one more but it's giving it that nice like plasticky glossy look so this is going to be a little bit of a tedious process because you're going to keep layering and hanging them to dry but that is how you're going to do each little pennant I continued putting several coats on each of my little pennants and my bunting is done. So I've hung it in the classroom for a party. You can make your bunting as long or as short as you want.